Alex Salmond's successor as SNP leader, Nicola Sturgeon, had faced days of pressure to suspend Mr Salmond from the SNP after sexual misconduct allegations emerged. She had said there was no legal basis to do so, but now Mr Salmond has taken matters into his own hands. In a statement, he said... I did not come into politics to facilitate opposition attacks on the SNP and, with Parliament returning next week, I have tendered my resignation to remove this line of opposition attack. Most of all, I am conscious that if the party felt forced into suspending me, it would cause substantial internal division. Mr Salmond continues to deny any wrongdoing and says he intends to reapply for party membership in the future. The former First Minister had already announced he was taking the government he used to lead to court over its handling of misconduct allegations. But Nicola Sturgeon has defended the process. In a statement of her own, the First Minister said complaints must be investigated without fear or favour, regardless of the seniority of the person involved. Ms Sturgeon added she is upset by Mr Salmon's resignation but that any legal processes must now be allowed to take their course. Lorna Gordon, BBC News.